Now, today I am particularly excited about meeting the owner of the first all-electric Mini Remastered by David Brown Automotive, mainly because, well, this chap, he really is the foundation of Britain's talent, and the bespoke modern classic that he's chosen really does have the X factor. Do you reckon that was subtle enough? Well, I am absolutely delighted to say that joining me now is the man himself, Simon Cowell. Um, Simon, congratulations. Thank you. New owner of this rather beautiful piece of kit. It's my baby, <laughs> literally my little baby. So a new addition to the family. Um, I've got to ask why, out of all the things that you could have added to your car collection, why did you go for an all electric Mini remastered? Well, I've always wanted a Mini. Um, but I never had one. Okay. Um, and it was just on my kind of wish list, one day I want to have a Mini. And then I read about this company and I was like, I've got to have one of these. And then I realized that, you know, you could customize it, blah, blah, blah. Um, and of all the cars I think I've ever had in my life, I'm just saying this, this is my favorite. This is a keeper. That's amazing. Because I never really kept cars, you know, I don't have a collection. I've, I've, I've had a lot of cars, but I, I just sell them. This one, I, I will always, always keep. And it's pretty different. I mean, I think we're probably used to seeing you in like a Rolls Royce Phantom. It's kind of at the opposite end of the spectrum. A <laughs> little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> However, inside, it is like a little Rolls Royce um, because it's got like white leather, it's got walnut. Um, so it's like a mini Rolls. I love that. So you basically take an inspiration from your own Phantom yeah. and put it in the Mini Me Master. That is exactly what I did. <laughs> I asked the guys, can you copy what I have in the Rolls and put it in the Mini? And they went, yes. And that was it. You've been working with a very amazing team uh, at David Brown to make this happen. Talk to us as well about the colour, the inspiration. Where did that come from? And this little turbo script down the side. I think they thought I was totally nuts when I said to them, this is what I want the car to look like. And the reason is, I love all the old James Bond movies. Yep. And I think it's um, uh, A View to a Kill, um, uh, a James Bond movie. And in this movie, there's, you remember the Lotus Esprits they used to have? I there do, was the yeah. white one that went underwater. And then there was the other one, um, which was basically this colour. And for some reason, as a kid, I was obsessed with that Lotus Esprit. And then I thought, well, instead of getting a Lotus, why don't I just copy what was on the Lotus and put it on the Mini? Um, and I think it looks beautiful. I mean, I mean, it's not a turbo, but it had to have the word turbo on it. But this is the beauty of driving electric. Yeah. It kind of feels a bit like a turbo because you have that instant torque, you have that instant acceleration as soon as you hit the accelerator. You are so right. Well, what happened was, is that I got the car, I think about three years ago, loved it, drove it, and then I'm like, it doesn't feel like a go-car. And these cars should feel like a go-car. Yeah. And the only way we're gonna manage that is if we put an electric engine in it. So I said to David, look, I love the car. However, take it back and please, when you can, put an electric engine in it. And three years later, we got the car back. What was his initial response when you asked that question? Well, silence. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you crazy? Yeah, literally, I think he did think I was crazy. Um, and I said, no, I'm really, I, I'm really serious about this because to your point, um, with, with an electric engine, you get that absolute instant uh, power, which is like a go-kart. So I love go about go-karts, that, that bang. And it's not like, I don't know what it goes top speed. I mean, I don't care, but... I can tell you. Do you want to know? Yeah. 90 miles per hour. And it feels like about <laughs> 200 in this. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. You are so close to the ground, aren't yeah. you? There's not much between you and the elements when yeah. you're driving that. And honestly, Nikki, you know, when I, I read about um, uh, car reviews and they say, oh, it, 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 it feels like a go-kart. I've never, ever driven a car in my life which is remotely close to a go-kart apart from this. Brilliant. This is the closest I've got <laughs> because it is low. Now with the electric engine, you've got that instant torque. I mean, it's brilliant. And tell us a little bit about your history of go-karting because I didn't know this about you, Simon Cowell. You 
just really enjoy a bit of go karts. I love it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I mean, to the point, I actually have my own go karts. Do you? Yeah, uh, they're in America at the moment, and I'm going to ship them here. Find a track. I think uh, you should just build a track. You've well, got the space. I probably could actually, yeah. <laughs> or you've got Silverstone up the road. Yeah, it's not a bad idea though. <laughs> um, no, I love it. Um, and I got Eric into it when he was about, he must have been about four years old right. when he drove one for the first time. <laughs> and this was like a Start proper mini little racing go-kart. And I thought, I, I just got to get him into it. And I remember the first time he was in his kit and his helmet on, and then I pressed the starter button. And he was like, what? <laughs> you know, because they're so noisy. However, he, he, he is a naturally good driver. Mm-hmm. So that's why I want to get the go-karts back. Um, and then, you know, we can race again. How old is Eric? He's nine now. So at any point, would you lend him the keys to your mini remastered? <laughs> well, I am thinking, because um, I've got to think ahead, that uh, when he's car, no? got a driving license, mm. this is the car I want him <gasps> to have. One of these. That would be a very, very cool car to learn to drive on. It would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> He'd get a lot of credit for that. Yeah. Yeah. He'd yeah. be the popular guy at school. Yeah, that's yeah. what I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he, by the way, he's obsessed with this. Like when it arrived last week, he was like, uh, can we go out? And then we came back. Can we go out again? Uh, I mean, he's he's like me. He's literally fallen in love with it. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. So you could have a whole collection now. I see it. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. <laughs> and the great thing is about this company, genuinely, whatever colour you want, inside, outside, whatever, they'll do. And that's the fun of it. You're kind of like designing or creating, you know, the car you want. They are so passionate about what they do. And they love the cars more than I do. Yeah. I mean, genuinely, yeah. and that's why this has been such so much fun. And then I, I was really, I was almost nervous when it arrived because it was like, what if I hate it <laughs> after all this time? Oh, no. What if it's not that very good? Awkward. And yes. I got in it, and I'm like, my God, it's brilliant. Oh. And everyone likes you in it, Nikki. Oh, that's always a positive. Yeah. yeah. No one's beeping off the road. No. Or I mean, it, it, when you stop, people wave. It's like having. That's it's like cool. a dog. You know, like a really cute dog. People just like you in it. They want to come and stroke your car. Yeah. Um, have you driven many electric cars before? Do you sort of know the setup of how to charge it and, you know, all the infrastructure that comes with it? Well, we've got a plug. That's always good. Right. We've so got we've, electricity. So we've got electricity. Good. So I just plug it in. I had a Tesla. I mean, the first time I ever drove an electric car, someone lent me a Tesla. And I wasn't really that interested. Mm. But anyway, I got in it put my foot down. I've never felt anything like it in my life. It was like, God, I thought I had fast cars before. This is on a completely different scale. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of like, yeah, I, I mean, for me, you know, as I said, this started off as a regular engine. Yeah. Now it's electric. It's a completely different car. And it's really clever what they've done. They basically split the battery. So half the battery's in the front and half the battery is in the back. Really? Which basically keeps the weight distribution ah, just how you like it to give you that. that kind of nippy go-kart feel. Okay, so there you that's go. interesting. And this has a WLTP range, which is the official range of 110 miles. Yeah. Which I feel like is far enough that you're, you're never gonna well, drive more than 110 miles, Forget are you? it. No, <laughs> this is a car which you drive in town or around here. You're never gonna go more than 10, 20 miles on something like this. Otherwise you get driven. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. that's a nice segue. Are you going to drive me? Well, I don't mind. Please. Oh, I feel like you should drive me. No, I no. want to see your reaction. No, you go first. Me. Okay, I'll go first, yeah. but then I want to see your right, reaction. Okay. okay, fine. Okay. All right. Let's go driving. Good. Have you got the keys? Uh, I have I no idea. No, you've got the keys. Who's got the keys? <laughs> Who's a responsible adult around here? It is a go kart. That is the it best is a way to describe right? it. Yeah. <laughs> best way to describe. It. What's your favourite part? What's your favourite feature that um, you're like delighted with? I think uh, it. I love the way it looks. Um, but when I'm driving it, it's that instant. Like I said, you put your foot down. There's no lag. It's just instant. Yeah. Um, I've, I've never been interested in like top speed because you can't go fast anymore you know it's irrelevant it's completely irrelevant there's things called a speed limit and a driving license yeah exactly 
<laughs> so if no. you get caught doing over a hundred, you're in big trouble. That's so, some whenever I'm reading these reviews, oh, it uh, does two hundred and twenty miles yeah. an hour. It's like, well, where are you going to do that? Yeah. Unless you basically, you should get car. You should have a collection of cars that just stay at a racetrack. Yeah. And then you've got your collection of cars that you drive on the public road. But like I said, out everything I've ever owned, genuinely, this is my favourite. I mean, that is an amazing achievement. Yeah. Um, I think David Brown, well, all the hours, I think they were saying 1,500 hours is gone that right? into this. Yeah. When I went to the factory to pick it up, you know, you could tell that every single person there had really yeah. given, you yeah. know, their heart and soul into this. Yeah. yeah. And you can feel that by being in it and looking at it as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, that there's so much passion behind it. And you know what this car has? It has character. And I think a lot of cars today, I think they're too complicated. Mm -hmm. Nothing's real. Um, and I think this is, for me, is what driving's all about, where you can actually feel the road. You know it's going to corner well. It's quick. Um, and it's fun. And, Simon, you don't have to pay congestion charge. Which is perfect for your London house. Exactly. And I'm <laughs> yeah, exactly, and I'm not polluted the world. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah. Of <laughs> no, but it's it's um yeah, this is honest to God, my dream car. Wow. I mean I think everyone at David Brown would feel very, very happy to hear you oh, say I that. I hope so. I really like them. I'm and sure I want them delighted. to do well. I love people like David, you know, when he has like a vision for something, he just does it. And the great thing about these people are you can tell they really care, Nikki, you know? Yeah, um, passion their, projects. Yeah, their real passion. And now I'm so hooked. <laughs> I'm like, I think I need a second one for London. Genuinely. Yes. Yeah. Well, that would be the head turner in London. Yeah. That's for sure. So I, when I went out for dinner, um, in fact, we went out for dinner last Saturday, and uh, Eric said, can we take the Mini? And I said, okay, fine, we'll take the Mini. And uh, we went to this restaurant, and the two of us were then designing our next one. <laughs> it was You've just, got the bug. I mean, the electric yeah. Mini Me Mastered bug. Yeah, I mean, literally hooked. Right, let's see if this next person smiles at me. <laughs> this is the test. Hello? Nothing. <laughs> you look like quite a smiley chap though. Yeah, didn't smile I though. feel like it's because we were hiding you behind reckon? the car in front. They okay. couldn't see what was coming. All right, we'll try it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this time don't pull over. It would have been miserable. <laughs> we're just going to stay in the middle of the road so they're like, <laughs> see us coming. Doesn't look happy. <laughs> she just went, oh my God, is that Simon Cowell? Doesn't look happy. <laughs> She's happy! Oh my goodness, how are you? <laughs> We're good thanks, how are you? How's your day? We're just heading to the farmhouse. Okay, how is everything? Oh good. Good. This is an artist actually called Brie Runway. She's really cool, you should check her out. How are you? I'm so sorry, I'm gay. I'm By the way, I love your glasses. Thank you, they're good. I mean, seriously, amazing. Simon, can I put you in my TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> I can't see what you said just now, hold on. Do the thing again. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I love your glasses. Seriously. Simon, I love you. Love you too. Have a great weekend. Uh, do you Take like care. the car? Uh, <laughs> okay, didn't mention you, the car. You just literally made their, not even day, I'd go as far as say year. Well, I don't know about that. And the glasses were cool. They were cool. I those glasses. Yeah. yeah.